So I got a request from uh, someone to talk to you about, or they wanted me to tell the story about meeting Pantera. And uh, I mean, it's not the best story in the whole world because it was a very quick interaction, but it fucking blew my mind. But anyway, so my first hitchhiking experience was when I was 18, 19 years old, and uh, I was hitchhiking to Saskatoon from Regina. It was just a quick distance, it's like 240k or something like that. Um, and I was going up there to meet up a bunch of my, with my buddies. Now, I am from Wadena, Saskatchewan. That's where I originate from. And my dad had to take a transfer, because he was RCMP. And we transferred to Regina, because I got expelled from school for smoking pot in the weight room before the Christmas dinner <laughs> because me and a few of my friends thought it'd be way more fun to be high as fuck uh, and eat turkey <laughs> and that didn't go really all that well because we had it was like minus 40 outside or something like that and the whole fucking school could smell the weed coming out of the weight room um, anyway so we got the transfer to Regina and, and all my friends when we were in Wadena, we would go up to Saskatoon, that's where everybody goes, so then after we all graduated or after everybody was like, you know, done school, graduated or not, they all went to Saskatoon and I'm in Regina, so I have to make my trips up there to go see them, and that is where Pantera went on their Reinventing the Steel tour. Uh, this was in 2001, I think, 2002, max, anyway, so uh, I was going up there with my friends. We were all in a band called Detoxify Decreation. Uh, and when we were in Wadena, every, everybody was in a fucking band. Uh, I had started out in Hitler Stole My Potato, which then morphed into Circuit Breaker, which was then Downfall. And actually, Downfall, we had Alan Harding playing drums for us, who is the guitar player for Passenger Action and the drummer for Black Mastiff. So, Alan, if you're watching this, remember, actually, we weren't even your first band. That was fucking, it was you and Steve Jesmer and Ryan Jesmer, and you had that song, Freaking a Trench Coat, and I can't remember what your fucking band was, but you were the biggest thing in the whole fucking land back then. Um, you are cooler than Rose Valley, for fucking sure. Anyway, so, after that, me, Mario Chorney, David Argent. David Argent is now living in the UK and he plays in a band called uh, Bad Boys, I think it is. They came here a few years ago and played a tour with Black Mastiff. Uh, Dave, I don't even think I have you on Instagram, but I love you. Hope you're doing good. Um, and the Cody and Jason Turnbull. And they, I think they alternated guitars. I can't, I can't remember. Um, that was a really long time ago. Yeah, we wrote one of our albums on mushrooms. We put like a two ounces into this big vat and let it sit for like a week and then drank the water. And that was it. Like, yeah, that was a fun fucking time. Anyway, so I get up to Saskatoon and we were going to Ange Kraluk's house. Ange, hello. I'm doing a lot of highs because I haven't seen of or heard many of these people in a really long time because we've all kind of, you get older, you grow up, you fucking move away. You don't have no idea what anybody's up to anymore. So I hope you guys are all doing really well. Um, but we end up going to the show. I had to scalp tickets when we got there. So we got to pre-drink, had a big party. It was really fucking awesome to see all my buddies. Um, and the band, we went up to the show. They had four tickets, I did not. I sat in the bleachers. But I did run into an old buddy, um, Curtis Offit, who now is like a big time fucking chef dude in Calgary. Offit, love ya, hope you're doing well as well. Um, and me and Offit were up in the stands and it was five minutes alone came on. Was it five minutes alone? Yes. And it was the breakdown halfway through and me and fucking off were like, we're jumping the fucking barricades and we're going into this bitch. And we, we 
rushed down and as we jumped over the fucking barricades, I slapped one of the security guards in the head. He had no idea what was going on. We did, 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 right through into the crowd. We ripped off our shirts and fucking ducked into the into the circle pit, and that was it. We were in. Um, amazing fucking time. Anyway, but so the show is over. I think it was a dime bag or no. Vinny, no dime bag was the one. Some dude fucking chucked a beer, and I. Dimebag fucking grabbed it and chugged her. It was like the greatest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, the show is over though, and we all meet up outside. Ears are ringing, have no idea what's going on. We're just really fucking drunk. And Mario goes, Mario Chorney, uh, who's my who's my drummer in, in Talks About Decreation. Uh, he's a really good guy. I don't know how he's doing mentally anymore. We See, like we broke up and like our band went to shit because we all kind of got <laughs> into drugs really heavily and stuff like that anyway um, and Mario doesn't have Instagram so he'll never see this I don't think but I hope he's doing well he lost his wallet so we all got to go I don't even know who was with us I know me and Mario Beachmaster was there I don't know if off it was there uh, off yet not from Wadena uh, anyway we, we went down the we called SAS place and they said yeah come down around the back uh, through the back entryway the loading docks and then if you walk down the hallway there's a lost and found it's right by a security booth so we go down there and we're walking down these hallways and there's a security booth and like Yo, you're the guy looking for the wallet he's like here's a box of stuff look through it and try to find anyway so Mario's looking through it and he finds it he goes this is my fucking wallet and as he says that we hear I think it was like excuse me excuse me and we look down the hallway to our left and the fucking band Pantera's walking down the fucking hallway now there's the booth was just kind of tucked in like four feet five feet towards this door so like the band is like walking right past us it's not like we're way far away or anything like that and uh they all like, hey, how's it going? Shake our hands as they're coming through. And because I'm the vocalist in the band, like I have, there's a few singers that are just like top notch for me, right? Um, and Max Cavalera, like way fucking up there. And Phil, like my number one, back in the day, like my fucking number one was Phil. And Phil's like, hey brother. <laughs> it kind of sounded like Hell Hogan. Hey brother, how you doing? And I was like, ah! <laughs> I lost it, man. I couldn't. I had nothing. See, I've met lots of dudes in my life. Like I, I, like I've gotten a party with like Freddie Prince Jr. Like that's not even a big fucking deal or anything like that. Um, uh, Vinnie Jones, I've gotten to meet. Um, Jason Cruz from Strung Out, I got to meet him. Uh, I sold Nickelback weed once. Me and, <laughs> me and Scott, that was fucking awesome. Um, but. Phil fucked me up. Like, I I had no words for the moment. Um, yeah. So it was just, it was an impassing. And I'm glad that I got to be there for that moment of my own life. I don't fucking know. Anyway, uh, that's the end of that story. There's not much more to it. It's See, the only reason why these stories are any fucking good is because I have ADHD and like I have 12 fucking stories that move in around the story. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys have a good night. Be safe, kind to each other. Have a good one. Bye.